Hi everyone, it's MJ the Fellow Actuary and Asa has asked me to make a video showing you guys how to scan your exam script and then upload it onto the learning platform. So quite a lot of exams got cancelled because of coronavirus, but some of them are still going ahead and they will be done at home. You're going to be able to write out the exam like you normally do and then upload it onto the learning platform. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video if you have an Apple or an Android phone. So yeah, let's get to it. So we're gonna start off with the Apple device and what you wanna do is go to this application called Notes. So it should already be on your phone. Um, you then wanna create a new note over here. You then wanna click the plus button. Okay, so you're gonna click the plus button. You wanna click scan document. Uh, once you've done scan document, you then want to get the page that you want to that you want to do, and as you can see, um, I've got a few little tips there. You need to hold like really, really steady. Sometimes that little thing will come in and just do it for you. And um, let's actually try see if we can do this page twice. So you can see there's that yellow block comes in and tries to auto do it for you. Another way that you can do it is if you just push the button and then you'll see that you can actually adjust these little things over here. But now look, you only have 15 minutes to do this, so you don't want to mess too much around with you know, trying to edit it to, to absolute perfection. Essentially, you just want to make sure that you're not cutting anything off and that, you're, well, that the examiner is able to see everything. Um, you can see I've got a little bit of, of tips on the actual document here. Uh, you can see I'm using a bit of a border that's just to try and help the thing, uh, well, the AI in this notes app to try and figure out what is the actual page. You wanna hold your phone quite steady. You wanna use good natural lighting. You wanna avoid the flash. And then once you've done that, you should get something that looks like this. So you can see these are my three, uh, sorry, there's a little email coming in. Uh, these are my three little documents. And then what I do is I simply click done at the top and then I click cancel. Oh, are you sure you want to discard the scan? No, you want to click save. Sorry, you want to click save. Um, and then you basically have got your little scan document over here. Now you can, or what you need to do is now send it to your computer. If you use an Apple device, you should be able to use AirDrop or you can send it via Gmail, WhatsApp, or, or depending on what software you have. What we're gonna do now is look at copy to drive because if you've got an Android phone, you will come up with all the Google uh, Cloud suite and you can see that you can also use this approach to doing a Google scan. So let's go check that out. Um, but very important finally with, with the Apple and I guess with the Android one as well, is you wanna also learn how to rename the PDF and the PDF must be less than 30 megabytes when you then upload it onto the platform. But let's check it out now on an Android phone. Okay, I don't have a screen recorder on the Android phone, so what I'm gonna do is just show it to you like this. Essentially, you wanna go onto Google Drive and you wanna click this little plus button at the bottom. You then wanna click Scan, okay? Once you've clicked scan, you just want to say allow, give it give it the power to take over your phone. And then, okay, this is this is a very cheap Android device that I'm using here. So it's probably not gonna come out with the best quality. But yeah, you, you can see that quality is terrible. Um, <laughs> gosh, hopefully you guys have got a better device than, than I do. Um, so anyway, what you do is you'd have your, your image pop up, you then click the tick at the bottom, and you will then have created your PDF. You can actually see here that it's then uploading um, for you over here. Look, sorry, this is, I'm more of an Apple user, so <laughs> trying to use an Android device, I haven't done this in a while, but essentially you would use Google Drive in order to do it. Now look, at the end of the day, the big, big thing that you guys want to do with regards to this, maybe come over here and look at me. Um, so yeah, so the big thing that you want to do with regards to, to this online scanning is you want to make sure that you've spent enough time 
learning how to do it. So I highly recommend you practice using Google Drive or Apple Notes before you go into the exam. They have given you 15 minutes to upload it, but if you haven't used the software before, it is gonna run into a little bit of problems. It could get, it could become quite a stressful situation. So I highly recommend playing with the technology now, trying out these apps. If you don't like how any of these apps work, Go onto an app store, find another app that you are comfortable with and make sure that you're able to take your written handwriting uh, answers and that you're able to convert it into a PDF, change the name, it's less than 30 megabytes so that you can upload onto the Moodle or online platform. And then yeah, that's how, I don't know, this this might be how we do exams in the future, so who knows, this, this might be the new way of doing things. But practice, practice, practice before you get into the exam. Otherwise, I'm sure Asta is going to send you guys some guidance notes as well. This is just a little fun reference video for those of you who don't like to read and prefer to watch things instead. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.